Well, some people are following suit because others are bound to go home as others are getting ready to stay very well into the wee wee hours of this tournament which leads all the way to the 10th of July 2016 when the finals is going to be held somewhere in Paris of those two studies which we will let you know. But as of now we can confirm that Wales have let groups B and of course at the expense of England and Slovakia Russia are sent packing and of course they're not wanted in France anymore for all the obvious reasons football has done the talking and they're not deemed to be that good for this tournament let's alone let's hope for what's going to come in 2018 when the World Cup goes to Russia Ibufai and uh, Matar Mboja here with me to set more light on Group B and their standings and somehow not the so good a performance by England <laughs> no, I don't think it was good in terms of uh, keeping possession and, you know, opening up the defense. Mm -hmm. They have some chances, but you expect more from a team with the caliber of England, definitely, mm -hmm. with the players they have. Mm -hmm. and, and they did not show that quality today. Mm -hmm. But we all kind of... Uh, on easy with what was happening, you know, I mean, the long balls, the aerial balls. We said how predictable England were. They lacked the cutting edge. Creativity was almost non existence. Yeah, the problem England will have now is the fact that uh, they've made the changes, and, and Roy Hodgson must be thinking to himself, what does he have to do? Because Next. he went to, uh, made an attacking formation went with two strikers and they still couldn't uh, score mm -hmm. and you would have thought that uh, if you told me that Jamie Vardy and Daniel Sturridge would uh, would have those chances and would miss them uh, it's, it's very difficult to see mm -hmm. but in, in in my opinion the, the game wasn't wasn't that bad as far as the approach play is concerned they had the chances they mm -hmm. just couldn't create them and Slovakia defended well and the goalkeeper had a, a man of the match display uh, skirted as well led by example mm -hmm. I think the problem England will have as far as winning this group is concerned they could have won it but uh, for that game against Russia mm -hmm. because you know you look at the way the Wales um, I'm sure the highlights will be shown that they destroyed Russia so England would have th would think to themselves we should have had a better result mm -hmm. we, yeah we, so it was just the last two minutes or however many minutes it was the lack of concentration in the Russia game mm -hmm. rather than uh, the, the last uh, well, today and the and the game now against Wales. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that would have very much depended on on the timing of those games because when it's the beginning, you yeah. you have to really wonder. I mean, or, or wanting to settle before you go out all gung ho to um, taking on your opponents. Yeah, it just goes to show you in tournament football how important it is to go for a win because I'm I'm sure that if England had won that first game against Russia, against Russia, they would be even more confident, and I'm sure they would have played with even more yeah. uh, dominance against Wales, mm -hmm. and then like. Likewise today, they would have seen a draw would have been mm -hmm. uh, it, it, enough for them to top the group. Mm -hmm. uh, the only slight difference is that they'll now play a team who's second in Group F. So a stronger uh, opponents. Yeah, um, either Portugal, Austria, um, Hungary, Iceland. So uh, p p probably not Austria. But then, if you look further, uh, the quarterfinal opponents will most likely be um, France. France. Um, if they'd won the group, it would have been maybe Belgium. Mm -hmm. So. France, Belgium, I think, uh, pick your poison, really. <laughs> <laughs> your your, your yeah, because, poison, you know, uh, if I was a coach playing with, for with another team mm -hmm. and supposed to meet England, definitely I will learn from this match mm -hmm. and know that if I drop deep, England have, will have problems with breaking have the, mm -hmm. the, the defense mm -hmm. because they, they, they just be reft with ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot see them, you know, playing that quality football that at this level you want to see, uh -huh. you know, trying to create the, those chances. Uh -huh. The chances came, but how did they come? Uh -huh. you know, so that's, 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 that's the problem with England. What would Roy as a coach be thinking right now? No, you'll be thinking very hard with him and, and the coaching staff because they've gone for two strikers and it hasn't worked. They've they made the chances, but they'll be working and, and trying to figure out why they couldn't be able to put them away. Uh, I think playing with two pacey strikers, they want the ball in behind but they didn't really have anybody who could hold up the ball and wait for the midfield runners to come. Uh, I think also the creative influence Jack Wilshere was a disappointment, uh, he's just not quite there yet. Mm -hmm. Henderson was workmanlike, Dyer Dyer's probably been England's strongest player mm -hmm. uh, and also if you look at the performance of Klein, I think yeah, the right the right backs have been England some of England's best players, yes. so they're getting a lot of joy at right back. Mm -hmm. But it's across the whole team. Um, mm -hmm. I think maybe they should look at playing Klein maybe as a left back, uh, just 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 so they can have that attacking impetus on the other side. Yeah.
Okay, um, and the good thing about it is they're true to the last 16. That's what they want for, um, what they played for. I mean, Slovakia, for one, really wanted that and they got it. No complaints. Certainly not. No, they'll, they'll have to wait, um, but I think they should qualify Slovakia and they'll just carry on as they were, whoever they play. I think they'll be confident to, mm -hmm. to play as, you, as they did. They'll just say, listen, remember England? Let's yeah. do the same. Yeah, that is a big achievement for a small nation yeah. like Slovakia. They were they happy of the two yeah, bunch. The, the, you know. For them to qualify to the second round, this is mm -hmm. the first time it is happening in mm -hmm. India football mm -hmm. history. It's a big, big, big achievement. If we say that of Slovakia, what about Wales? Well, even to be on top of England, <laughs> yeah, ah, you know, <laughs> big, bro, big, big brother. <laughs> you know what the Welsh, the Welsh team will yeah. tell you that they are not surprised. They will yeah. tell you that uh, they aim to, to do as well as possible, and they wouldn't be surprised to win the group. Yeah. I think the England game was more of a inferiority complex because you know you're playing your near neighbours and you know that they're better than you. So in the end, they, it came, but, but, but playing teams like Slovakia and playing Russia as well, yeah. where Wales were the underdogs, mm -hmm. they, they could play their counter attack football and it worked for them. England have never recovered from what happened at this very arena some couple of tens of I mean, 16 years ago I mean, when they played Argentina and uh, it wasn't a happy ending and this certainly also is not a happy ending for Roy Hodgson and his players. You know the Euros are here and so is Afrisal who brought you this coverage on our national television and we shall continue to give you this kind of insight in all the matches yet to come here from tomorrow as you know um, uh, and then you know the days in which we needed a break we shall also be taking a break but the 1010 stuff still stays here it is for you it's not going anywhere staying put until the tent when a certain millionaire will be created it could be you you know what to do continue doing so from now on the draw will be done in a bit but for now, I just want to thank my pundit analyst, um, Matar Mboj, assistant to Sang Dong, head coach of the national team, and of course, Ibu Fai, I mean, second vice president of the Gambia Football Federation, a technician, and of course, you know, an administrator. Football is doing the talking. Afisal is also doing the talking right now. The girls are in, Ronald is in, the money is in, and it's for you for the taking.